Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you an iPhone app that lets you convert almost anything into a GIF, even live photos. Now I realize this is the internet, so I'll address this issue up front. It's pronounced GIF, plain and simple. But with that out of the way, I came across this awesome iPhone app called GIF Toaster. And man, it's like the VLC of animated pictures. You can turn videos into GIFs, photos into GIFs, burst photos, panoramas, and even live photos. And in most cases, you can do it the other way around by turning GIFs into videos, for example. The app itself is available for free on the iOS App Store, so search it by name to get it installed, or you can use the link in step one in my full tutorial. But when you first launch the app, you'll have to select which kind of conversion job you'd like to run. If you want to turn a GIF into something else, choose Break GIF. Or if you'd like to combine multiple GIFs into one, go with Combine GIF. But the main feature here is under Make GIF. From here, just tap the title bar at the top of the screen and you'll see all the options. Like I said, this basically works with anything. Then, once you select a category, just use this next menu to select the media that you'd like to convert into a GIF. From here, you've got tons of options for adjusting your new GIF. For starters, you can select the range entry, then use this next menu to adjust the start and end points of your clip. From there, you can adjust the playback speed and the frame rate, and you can even change the size of the GIF you'll be creating. If you're using this to convert a video though, it's probably best to just leave that set to one quarter. Then beneath that, you can opt to have the GIF playback in reverse, or you can use the yo-yo option to make it play in reverse, then forward, then repeat. On top of that, you can flip the GIF on the X or Y axis, and you can even rotate it. Plus there's an option for applying filters, which are pretty standard, and there's even a way to add text overlays. But when you've got everything set up to your liking, just scroll back to the top of the menu and press convert. To me, one of the best parts of this app is how quickly it converts from one format to another, because it really doesn't take that long at all. But when it's ready, you'll see the end product. From here, it's just a matter of tapping the save option to keep a copy for yourself, or tapping open in to share it with a compatible service. So it's incredibly simple and straightforward, but the best part is it converts basically anything into a GIF. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article on our new website at GadgetAxe.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.